that's what's happening now. Three five-minute semifinal rounds. A former PFL World Champion and Emiliano Sorti takes on a newcomer, Antonio Carlos Jr. All right, let's get our next fighters to the cage. Introducing first, Antonio Carlos Jr. Antonio Carlos Jr., one of the best nicknames in the sport, <laughs> Shoe Face. This guy's got nine submissions on his record. He's a world champion in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but make no mistake about it, he's got naturally very heavy hands. You definitely want to get out of the way of that straight left. He's a well rounded mixed martial artist. It's going to be really interesting to see how he solves the problem of Emiliano Sorti. Hey, there's the shoe face watch party down in Rio. What a deal! <laughs> Rio de Janeiro standing up for shoe face. And his opponent, Emiliano Sorti. The champ is here. I will tell you, I will go as far as to call our community rude for the way they have treated him. <laughs> I mean that very much so. He is being judged for having a close fight, a fight that he won, I will remind you. He just wasn't as dominant as some people expected, and that is not an analysis of this fight or a prediction. I am not giving it, but they don't go hand in hand. This guy should not be counted out. He had COVID, he has recovered, he d deserves this opportunity. Hey, Rio Cuarto, there's the Emiliano Sordi watch party. Hanging out down in Argentina. Hoping to see the 2019 world champion return to form. I tell you what, this guy really organized his training camp. Bouncing back and forth from San Diego to Tijuana, managing the learning, managing the training, like he had that in-structure canvas system. He was just dialed in on this training camp. And there is our tale of the tape. Brought to you by the Marine Corps, Antonio Carlos Jr., one year older. He's got a two-inch reach advantage in the arms. The reach advantage in the legs goes to Togo, Emiliano Sord. Lillian Garcia gets them going inside the smart game. The fighters in these semifinals are looking to punch their way to the PFL Championship, which will be held right here at the Hard Rock Casino in Hollywood, Florida, October the 27th. You can join us live. Right now, we continue in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a jiu-jitsu practitioner, standing at 6'2". He officially weighs in at 205 and one half pounds. In 18 professional bouts, he has a record of 11 wins, five losses, and two no decisions, with nine victories by submission. Fighting out of João Pessoa, Brazil, here is your number one seed, shoot face, Antonio Carlos Jr. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a striker. Standing at 6'2", he officially weighs in at 206 pounds. In 32 professional bouts, this veteran has an impressive record of 23 wins, eight losses, one draw, with 22 victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Rio Cuarto, Argentina, here is your number four seed and the 2019 PFL Light Heavyweight World Champion, Emiliano Dogo. Your referee in charge, Andrew Glenn. Andrew Glenn will oversee our second light heavyweight semifinal. Martin Hamlet watching this with great interest as he grabs a little pizza after a hard fight camp. Sorty in the yellow and black, shoe face in the black and gray. Argentina versus Brazil. Touch of the gloves and we are underway. Take a look at this realm, gentlemen. I think we're going to see a lot more boxing than many people predicted in this fight. Randy, if you remember when we went back to season two, 2019, yep. Sorty's championship year, he said, all I needed to figure out was my mental game. 
And he did. He went and saw a sports psychologist. He yeah. got it dialed in, and we saw the results. But does the mental game get thrown off again by the regular season he had this year? No, I think the mental game came into play. He had to fight some adversity and use those mental skills he, de he developed in 2019 to gut it out and get through those wins. Feeling out this striking process here. Sorty got crazy power in both hands, keeping that lead hand circling around and loose. Shoe face misses with a jab, lands with a right hand. Sort of a slapping, chopping straight right from shoe face. Sorty took it. Sorty stepped forward on that. I thought that got through as well. Shoe face was starting to cut off the ring a little bit, guys. He was starting to sidestep and side. He stopped doing that. I think he's going to stand here and trade at least for a while. Dances outside of the range of Emiliano Sorti for a moment here. The right hand just misses over Shoeface's left shoulder. Shoeface does a good job of tucking that chin right into that shoulder. Mickey Ward in the audience probably appreciating that technique. Winner of this bout will move on on the little quick little eye poke there. An apology from Shoeface. These guys, former training partners. Good sportsmanship to be expected in this one. But both of them want that trip to a championship. Punch to the chest there from Emiliano Sordi. Sean, I didn't have that scoop. These guys used to Sherry practice room, huh? What's, what's the story on uh, who thinks they won those goals? Well, that was a long time ago, so it's hard to say. It's a big deal. That's a big deal that Sordi just stopped that shot. Shoeface cut him off, blasted that double, and was nowhere near landing it. That right hand touched the left cheekbone of Shoeface. Sorty walking him down, trying to put Antonio Carlos Jr.'s back to the fence. Ooh, that big overhand right just missed. Nice, stiff, hard leg kick there from Antonio Carlos Jr. He's able to partially check the return. Shoeface will switch stances. I think he does some of his better work at least power shots when he's fighting out of southpaw. He's orthodox right now. That could be relevant. Interesting here, Randy. Shoeface is doing a good job of maintaining the necessary distance defensively, and he dives in on another takedown attempt. He punched his way into that one. With three punches, they didn't really land, but it got Sorty backing straight up and allowed him to continue into the barrier and get in deep on this double leg. Important position, Randy, for both guys. If this gets stuck, and it did, that's going to be a confidence builder for Sorty, and that's going to make Shoeface think twice about going for another takedown. Absolutely. Little cup check here. Is that a, a timeout? Errant knee? I think so. Nice job by Sorty to dig in, get that underhook, trade places with Shoeface, put him on the fence, and try to go to work there. Randy, before the takedown attempt, and we'll get a quick replay here on the, I think it was a knee. Yep, yeah, there it was. A little bit south of the equator there. Uh, I was making the point that Shoeface was staying out of distance and, and retreating when Sorty started his combinations, which was making Sorty reach a little bit with the overhand rights. We've seen him be most yep. successful when he really turns that rear toe and throws straight rights. The sure. overhands have not been go. quite as successful for him. If he can manage the distance, I'm saying sorry, if he can close and get to a spot where he doesn't have to throw super long, that's the punch you want. Yeah, absolutely. Back to the action we go. Emiliano Sorti, 2019 champ in the yellow trunks. Antonio Carlos Jr. wears one over the left ear. He's in the black and gray. So, Nice combination, a left rip to the body, overhand right to the head Perfect. by Sorty. Yep, that's it. Yep, you got his timing. It's the right hand. It's your right hand. Look at your right hand. Yep, that's the one. Faint first. Now Sorty's starting to stalk Randy. Now Sorty's the one moving forward. This round has changed very, very much, at least from a strategic standpoint by both athletes. They traded stiff jabs there, but yes, Sorty on the offensive here. Twice we've seen Antonio Carlos Jr. attempt takedowns. Twice he has been rebuffed. 30 seconds remain in the first round. Trip to the semi, excuse me, trip to the championship on the line in this semifinal. 
Nice straight right on the inside by Antonio Carlos Jr. Another jab lands, but the right hand misses for Sorty. Two-Face doing a good job of not taking the brunt of both punches or all three in a combination inside of 10 seconds. One more right hand and a hook from Sorty. That'll be the end of round number one as Shoe Face. That's Martin Hamlet. He's already got a spot in the 2021 PFL Light Heavyweight World Champion. He will face the winner of the bout you are seeing in front of you in the smart cage. Emiliano Sorti, shoe face, Antonio Carlos Jr. Slight FPR advantage goes to Sorti. The verdict fan vote would agree. Argentina versus Brazil inside of the smart cage. Chopping kick to the lead leg from Sorti. Randy, I want to explain this to the viewer, but I don't quite know the words. I feel, and I've got a nervousness inside, something is about to happen. I feel both of these guys are playing a dangerous game, and I'm just kind of on the edge of my seat. You have two knockout artists standing on the logo. Your spidey senses are going off. Is that what you're telling me, Chael? I'm feeling that like you instant, like something's, I cannot look away from this fight. I am very into it. And I realize we got a lot of feeling out, we got a lot of moving, but we also have two guys that are quite literally toe to toe. That, that was, I don't, I'm, you know, he, he bent at the waist and reached for that. That wasn't a real takedown attempt. This is a little more of a, of a commitment to that takedown, which the, makes you makes you wonder if he, he's feeling the pressure. That's right, Randy. Little, the, little check, poke in the, eye. the check hook from Emiliano Sorti opened up a cut over the left eye of shoe face. And maybe it's the side of that down. blood. Sometimes your own blood puts a little desperation in your heart. Right hand gets over that time. Emiliano Sorti starting to figure out the spacing and the timing. Jab to the body. Shoe face continues to wipe away the blood from his own eye. Nice leg kick, but Sorti ate a right hand for those efforts. Another right hand partially deflected. They traded a jab for a right hand that time. Good movement defensively from Sorty in that exchange. Excellent seeing that coming. Sorty has done his best work inside the smart cage when he throws three and four and five punch combinations. So far tonight, it's been one and two. Now a little blood maybe trickling from the Argentine's eye. He uses those combinations when he hurts a guy though, when he stings him, and then he unleashes those combinations that are devastating. He hasn't really been able to do that yet with Antonio Carlos Jr. Body shot from Emiliano Sorti as we take Let's a look go, inside Shufes. Antonio Carlos Jr.'s corner. Definitely some blood coming down the left side of Sorti's cheek minutes. as well. You're feeling great, you're doing great. Let's go, let's build up. Jab and exit. Up top. Jab and a body strike. He does not have speed, let's go. Let's go, jab and exit. I need two, I need a combo. 
One piece, one piece of bad news if your team shoe face. He does his best work on his feet, specifically with that rear hand and the cross. Sorty certainly knows that. You can see the way Sorty circles. You can see when Sorty throws, the way he dips out of it. If he can continue to stop the cross of shoe face, at least in the stand-up, he's likely to not be knocked out. Nice job slipping out of the single leg attempt by Sorty. It's the third single attempt in this round by Antonio Carlos Jr. What's your interpretation there, Randy? Is, is Shoeface feeling something that we're not quite seeing? Is he feeling, I've got to get this to the floor? It, it definitely feels to me like he's reaching for those. It's not a huge commitment on his part, and that makes me feel like he, he's feeling a little pressure from Sorty. Tell you what, Antonio Carlos Jr. has started to reach his jab and right hand out. Those are long punches, very long arm. Just misses with the overhand right. Sorty's hands were down as he avoided it. Sends his own right hand back. It's the one two, it's one two. It's only two from each of these individuals. Knee attempt there from Antonio Carlos Jr. Gets him in to a takedown, he's on top. With 20 seconds left in the round, Emiliano Sorti kicks him off and gets back up. But Shoeface still controlling the hips. Nice job by Sorti to create that space and pop right up, because he was literally just going to stay there and continue to get a beating. Final seconds of round number two. Round three when we return. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, Chael nice Sutton sitting nice in round. for Kenny Florian. Nice and the third and final Ready? round Ready? in a light heavyweight semifinal. There's the ref cam look at the embrace as Emiliano Sorti, the 2019 world champion, looks to return against Antonio Carlos Jr. Shoe face. FPR gave round number two to Emiliano Sorti. The fans gave round number two to Antonio Carlos Jr. And I think that the broadcast table might agree with the fans on that one. I think the takedown late in an otherwise very even round might have stolen it. I agree, I see that exactly. Uh, I think it was very close. Both guys tip for tat in most of the striking and the takedown stole the round in my opinion. And there was a flurry of ground and pound. Not saying it had a lot of power, but there was a lot of contact. I thought that flurry was helpful for a shoe face. Exchange of jabs here, and you can see as the smart cage tracks the total strikes, it's a razor thin margin here. Back and forth they go, tit for tat. PFL World Championships are right here on October 27th. And the winner of this one will face Martin Hamlet. There's your Acronis fight tracker. Emiliano Sorti has spent most of his time inside the indicator lines. A lot of this fight has happened on the feet. Antonio Carlos Jr., the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion, probably wants to get it down. He's been unsuccessful on most of his attempts, and here he goes again, trying to get Emiliano Sorti to the mat. Sorti has with his left arm there what we call a side whizzer. If Sorti takes that side whizzer out, he's going to get taken down, and he did. He put it back in. He took it out at one point. He put it back in. But uh, if you're watching at home, focus on the left arm of Sorti. If it stays in the armpit, his chances are good. Still, they're still good. Nope, now he's got problems. Now he's got Antonio Carlos Jr. on his back. He grabbed the cage. That's only one warning he's going to get. That was a significant grab. Might have kept him on his feet. 
Antonio Carlos Jr. controlling Emiliano Sordi here. Sordi has an option to elbow from here. A lot of guys will do that. It's more a nuisance than anything, but it will force shoe face to move. Sordi's just not quite throwing him. Now notice he's gone back to the side wizard. Of course, no elbows out. allowed in the PFL rule set. Uh -huh. And now Antonio Carlos Jr. takes the back of Emiliano Sordi, hooks in a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion. Riding you in this manner is not an ideal situation for the 2019 world champ. Emiliano Sordi has a Brazilian backpack there for a second. <laughs> Sordi trying to get his hips off this cage. Antonio Carlos Jr. dogging in the attempt at a takedown here. Sordi digging for an underhook and he's able wow. to get his hips free. Hey, excellent defense. Steps out of it. Two minutes remain here in the third and final round. Nothing doing on the wrestling attempt from Antonio Carlos Jr. again. If I'm Sordi, now's the time to turn it up. You just spent a lot of energy trying to hold on to you for over a minute. Those arms are going to be weary of Carl on Carlos Jr. Now's the time to step up. And the psychology is interesting, Randy. Does Sordi believe he's up two to nothing? Does he believe he just needs to close the round? I would not think so. A fighter of his caliber, I would think, would believe he's one and one. And in a fight this close, sometimes it's about effort and output. And right now, that advantage goes to Antonio Carlos Jr. here in round three. A jab snuck through for Sordi there. Low kick. Another attempt for the single leg here, Antonio Carlos Jr. The underhook stops it for Emiliano Sordi. Who throws knees to the body. You hear the corner say, un minuto, one minute left in what might be the deciding round here in a heavy, light heavyweight semifinal. Spinning back fist from Sordi as Antonio Carlos Jr. continues to pursue this takedown. And he gets it late in the fight. Sordi gives up his back, trying to stand back up. Now he's got Antonio Carlos Jr. with a hook in. Here come the left hands from Shoeface. It was good grip by Shoeface. He got stuffed four times. He went back to a fifth attempt. Yeah, the amazing second effort of Carlos Jr. here is really what's winning this round. Ten seconds left. Antonio Carlos Jr. trying to get Emiliano Sordi to the ground one more time. We'll go to the judges' scorecard and they will decide who faces Martin Hamlet in the 2021 Light Heavyweight World Championship. What a battle. I'm There's Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> <laughs> Counting down the final seconds, they think Shoeface has done it. What a battle, though. I really did enjoy that. I was on the edge of my seat for that contest. There's Real Cuarto, Argentina. Celebrating what they hope is an Emiliano Sordi win. He's looking for back-to-back -back trips to the World Championship at Light Heavyweight. Tell you what, Randy, I am glad I don't have to judge this one. Here's our Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. The takedowns for Antonio Carlos Jr. Remember, it's important where those came. One of those was at the end of round number two. Wasn't enough to steal that round. A couple of them here in round three. But were they effective in the eyes of the judges? We'll find out what they thought of this affair next. Antonio Carlos Jr. got beat up a little bit to the body, wore some leg kicks. You saw the blood trickling down off his, the cut uh, on his left eyebrow. That means some of that damage absorbed by the head. Let's take a look at the Rich Energy replay. Walk me through these, Randy. There's Sordi with that rip to the body, overhand right, and he used this combination several times very effectively. There's Antonio, level changing, reaching for a leg. That was the uppercut that cut Antonio Carlos Jr. There's a nice right hand by Antonio Carlos Jr. And that one looks like it put the cut on Emiliano Sordi. Here's the deep double leg, changes directions, pulls him out from the fence. Here's the little foot sweep. 
has the hips captured, climbs right into good position. Another double leg with those hands locked, pulls those legs out. And there's the camaraderie between two warriors right there. BFL's exclusive fighter performance rating is sponsored by Rich Energy. They gave round three to Antonio Carlos Jr. The algorithm thinks that Emiliano Sorti won rounds one and two, but look how close the margins are on those first two rounds. Yeah. I do not envy the role of the judges in this one. Let's check out the Verdict Global scorecard. With Verdict, you, the fans, get to be the judge. Here's how the fans scored the fight. They think rounds two and three went to Antonio Carlos Jr. Remember, it was the takedown late in round two. And obviously, a strong performance in round three from Shoeface. Here's how the experts saw it. FPR says sorty. The fans say Antonio Carlos Jr. Randy and Chael agree with the fans. Lillian Garcia has the official judge's decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And the totals are 30-27, 29-28, and 29-28. All for your winner by unanimous decision and clinching a spot in the 2021 PFL World Championship, Antonio Carlos Jr. It's Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Antonio Carlos Jr.'s watch party. They have to be very excited. Presidente championship moment. Right there. Two months from today, fighting for the title. That's one half of it. <laughs> All right, I'm inside the PFL Smart Cage with our winner, and more importantly, a man who is headed to the 2021 Light Heavyweight Championship bout right here October 27th, Antonio Carlos Jr., a hard-fought battle. That's what we expected against Emiliano Sorti. Did it go the way you thought it would? Yeah, bro, I didn't expect uh, I got a different fight, you know, I know how tough he is, uh, how hard he punch, so that's what I expect, you know, he defended the takedowns pretty well in the first round, but after that I could like pull my game on, you know, get some takedowns, uh, connect some punches, and get my spot on the, on, the, on the final, bro, I'm really happy. Thank you everybody here, everybody rooting for me, love you guys. So you have the luxury of being the second semifinal bout, which means you know who your opponent's going to be. We know that it'll be you and Martin Hamlet. What do you think of the matchup? Uh, it's a good matchup. You know, he's a grappling as I, uh, as I am. You know, I think it's going to be as tough as this fight. You know, there's no easy fight in here. So I just want to be, uh, like, training hard. You know, I'm going to rest for a week and get back to train, uh, you know, uh, I have some good training partners at, at the gym, you know, American top teams always help me out, give me the support that I need. You know, we have like all the best trains in the world, so for sure I'm going to be ready for this final. Uh, thanks, uh, Sordi, for this fight, you know, he's a pretty nice guy. I told him like Pelé is way better than Maradona, he got a grief with me. And now this final against um, uh, uh, Martin Hamlet, he's also a really nice guy, you know, and that's it, let's do it. We've seen you at heavyweight and at middleweight. Is this proof that 205 is the right place for you? Yeah, bro, like heavyweight's too much and 185 is too little. So I think I'll be in the middle, you know what I mean? I think 205 is the best place for me. And yeah, I find my, my division. Antonio Carlos Jr., shoe face, Woo! headed to the final on October 27th.